So the first story I want to talk about is a post made by banned VTuber memes that's getting a lot of traction and starting a lot of discussion. Basically, he posted a picture saying they're just importing the Twitch e-girl meta and then posted a picture of a bunch of VTubers who have a really lewd models, basically implying that like in e-girl, the only reason they're popular is because they're lewd. And this little tagline here in particular doesn't make sense to me because when they say they aren't like other VTubers and then shows what is probably the most diverse variety of outfits I've ever seen. And what's weird to me is like you've got people bandwagoning in the comments saying, you know, biggest downgrade in history and then showing someone who went from a fairly neutral lolly model to a big titty anime waifu, which I guess that's true. Whether or not that's an upgrade or a downgrade is really more up to personal preference though, isn't it? And I also find it funny that this is the person who's saying this because I clicked on their profile and I didn't have to scroll very far before I found this. And would you look at that? Somebody with the exact same username retweeting big titty anime women. So exactly what is your problem? Why are you bandwagoning on like big titty women and V2 being bad while at the same time retweeting big titty anime women? What am I not understanding? And then I wanted to, just to kind of summarize my own thoughts on it, I kind of just want to show this thread that I commented on where everybody's talking about this VTuber meta going on and uh, someone's like, wait, there's a meta? And uh, uh, Chris explaining, there's a rise of VTubers using lewd models and some people called it coomer baiting and that it made easy money through degenerate sims. Basically a Twitch bathtub meta discussion again, but this time with VTubers. Wait, isn't this old news? So I wanted to chime in here just for the sake of clarity. It's not new per se. This is something that has been happening since the beginning of the community. But ever since you've got people like Iron Mouse and Nyanners who, who debuted their most lewd models yet after starting out their careers with models that are not particularly lewd. I mean, look at Iron Mouse's first model. This is not even remotely lewd. Whether or not you see this as an upgrade or a downgrade is mostly personal taste, but I mean, there's definitely a real transition between starting off neutral and then going lewd. So, I mean, the trend does exist. And ever since they do it, then of course, a lot of other indies, you know, follow suit. A lot of people with neutral models have come out with lewd versions. And so, I don't know, if you're a VTuber fan who's offended by anime titties for some reason, I guess you're having a bad time. I just, I just, I just don't understand why you're having a bad time. That's my only confusion. I also really don't like the idea that these are just e-girls using their, you know, lewd models for clout because Iron Mouse became successful without a lewd model. Nyanners became successful without a lewd model. There are parts of their personality that really resonated with people other than just having a coomer bait model. So obviously if they could gain massive success without that model, then obviously this new model is just a personal preference. It's just a choice. It's something they wanted to do. And they aren't doing it for clout and attention because they already had that. You ever think we overvalue the opinions of complete and total strangers and just get upset because other people have different opinions and maybe we should all just relax, get off the internet and go get a different hobby? Oh look, a notification. In the VTuber community, one thing you see a lot is people complaining about VTubers not using their real voice and instead faking a high-pitched voice just to appeal to weebs and whatever. And while I'm sure there are some too, like for example, I think Snuffy is the best example of someone who was faking their voice and eventually decided to stop. You guys promise that you won't judge me, right? You'll still like me? I promise, I probably will still talk like this normally. This is my actual voice. <laughs> This is what my voice actually sounds like. But this has kind of become like a harassment thing in some cases, and people just assume that everyone with a high-pitched voice is faking it. So I wanted to show you all this clip from Punkalopi just to kind of disprove that. Dommy mommy voice, please. I can try to lower my voice for a little bit, but because of the swelling going on in my, uh, in my neck, in my ears, and in the back of my throat, it is really hard to maintain a voice that is not my natural voice. So I will do this for a little bit, but as soon as it starts to hurt, I'm going back to my normal voice, okay? Ah, uh, okay, nope, that hurts. It tickles the back of my throat and it makes it buzz buzz. I don't like it. And honestly, that's the long and short of it. Some people have naturally low voices and, and fake a higher voice. A lot of people don't. A lot of us just have nasally high-pitched voices, like me. This is how I actually sound. I have a horrendous voice. 
Now, there are times where like I'm tired or I'm serious or I just really want to get a point across or I'm angry and I will speak with a deeper voice. But even if I do choose to talk like this, which is definitely not my normal tone of voice, it's not that I'm faking my voice to, I don't know, sound more daddy or whatever. I talk like this because when I do talk like this, I speak more clearly and concisely and I want to be understood. But honestly, I just sound like this more often than not. And that's totally fine. So I would really appreciate it if y'all would stop, stop going fake voice, fake voice. Everybody's faking their voices. The next thing I want to talk about is a uh, production Kawhi making a statement today. Apparently there has been malicious spammers who are misusing the names of their talents in order to slander them and make completely unfounded statements about them. This situation has been affecting our talents and obstructing their activities. Our talents do not have any other platforms other than the ones listed by them, so please be careful when you spot accounts that could possibly be fake. Basically, it's got the profile picture and username of the content creator, and it's being like, you've won a prize, claim now. And it's, it's a pretty blatant scam. A lot of these people will have like Telegram or some sort of other contact info in their username. Even though it feels like this should be easy to spot, there are still people who fall for it. You just act without thinking, even though you know better. So please, if you see this, even though it feels like a never ending Sisyphean battle, please report all of these accounts that you see as soon as you see them, get rid of them. This is, not a new problem, but there is a resurgence of it, so just be careful. I will never tell you that you've won a prize. The only prize I will ever give you is a discount code to whoever my sponsor is. Like, for example, if you go to w.gg, use code Beelzebub, you can get 10% off. And the next thing I wanted to talk about was apparently Magni Desmond is recovering from an injury and he'll be streaming as normal on a week to week, but the runtime of the streams may run shorter than you're used to. I'll be seeking physical therapy as soon as I'm able and hopefully regain my strength. So please go, go over to Magni's profile, show him some love in the comments section. I'm sure it would make his day. Personally, I think Magni is very talented and entertaining and I hope he gets better soon. And the last thing that I wanted to talk about is just a little bit of self-congratulations. This channel is becoming exponentially more profitable every month. And if this trend continues, I might actually be able to make this a full-time living. I'm nowhere near that point yet, but uh, we're cruising up there. So I would really appreciate it if you guys would, you know, like, subscribe, do all the YouTube things. I am finally on an upward traje trajectory with this channel. I mean, I've been working my ass off on this channel for two years, so any success is success that I'm proud of. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye guys.